Okay. Hi, I'm Jim Merritt, and I'm here with Bruce Beveridge. This talk deals with clam growth, and we're going to talk about how even different species of clams grow. We're going to be able to tell their age from their growth looking at the shells, some of the clams anyway, and we're going to tell about how clams grow because it's important for us when we go from the seed clam that we buy, that we grow out in the nursery, and then move them into the bay. Uh, and that's a real important part and it takes longer for that to happen. Start with, we're gonna identify the different species of clam that Reclam the Bay deals with. So let's start with Bruce. Different types of clams. Uh, with Reclam the Bay, we use typically hard clams. Uh, scientific name, Mercenaria Mercenaria. Okay, uh, they come there, but there's other different types of clams in the ocean and the bay. Uh, this is a surf clam. Oh, I recognize that. You species. find those on the beach. It's a different species and they live in the ocean. And they used to be the uh, main ingredient in Campbell's clam chowder. Now they have other clams for that. Um, this is a soft shell clam. And this is a little beat up. The shells break kind of easy. Uh, I don't have a live one here. Oh, hence the name soft they, shell clam. It's, it's softer than the thicker shell on the hard clam. Correct. And uh, there's a couple other distinguishing features we can maybe talk about once we get into uh, anatomy. Um, I have so this is where we start talking about clam growth that includes razor clam, which is a little different species than the hard clams that reclam the bay grows. They are in the bay, but we don't grow razor clams. This is called a razor clam. It's long, narrow, and lives in the bay. And I wanna talk about a little bit about this brown covering, because we'll get into that a little bit. But that's called a periosticum. And what it is, is as the clam generates new shell, we have one here. Let's see, hold this up. As it generates new shell, the new shell is white. Oh yeah, you can see right and along that does, edge. Right along the edge. So, and again, that could be a razor clam or our hard clam or really any clam. So what clams do is they have a, what they call a mantle that is a layer inside the shell that produces new shell. All right. Oh yeah, the mantle is mentioned in the session on fundamentals. All right, and the new layer that it puts out is white. Eventually it gets covered with this periosticum and that's what gives you these rings. Ah, okay. So Wait those minute, concentric circles are rings that are actually growth rings that grow out from that hinge. Right, they start at the, at the beak or the umbo, and as the clam grows, it puts a new layer of shell down. And this clam has growth rings, all right, annual growth rings. And if you look closer, well, let me try and put it over here. Uh, are those those darker rings that you can see on that shell? Right, these are the darker rings are annual, but if you can see closely in between, there's a number of different rings. How old is um, that clam then? This one, I'm going to take, can't tell, well, you can kind of say, okay, this is their first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year years old. Wow. Um, okay. Scientists, scientists will cut it in half and do the exact measurements, but. Um, your animal. Uh, I think one point you had a, a really interesting little display that showed the clams in relation to the size of a dime from the smallest ones that we get uh, when we buy them with Reclam the Bay to, to larger ones. Do you still so have So let me turn it around. We'll go in uh, smaller to larger. But this is a dime here for comparison. This little clam would probably be about three months old and about the size that Reclaim the Bay would buy them. They buy 
uh, several hundred thousand of them and wow. raise them over so the how years. big is that little tiny clam? Uh, the, when Reclam the Bay gets them, it would be two millimeters. Oh, pretty small, about the size of a grain of rice, right? Right, that's correct. Now, as they grow over the summer, they get bigger, bigger. In other words, they're producing more shell, all right? So they, as you see, they grow out. This one's a little bit older, but you can see his older growth. Yeah, yeah. You can see the white part the up at growth. the top. Yeah. Right. Well, if I put this even closer, you can kind of see, you know, it's not focused good, but you can kind of see growth rings in there. Yes, you can. Yeah. So even these tiny little guys have growth rings. If you get a, a good magnifier, you can see about right. yeah. um, four or five growth rings in that. Bay. How long is it going to take for those clams to grow up to be the size that uh, we would actually be able to buy in a store and eat? Or even okay. hard? It'll take, it'll take about three and a half years. But here's what happens. Uh, Reclam the Bay puts, so it starts to grow in them in oh, early July, late June, all right? They buy the little guys, and as they grow over the summer, by the time they're ready to go in to the bay and have protective nets put over them, they're about this big. Pinky nail. Um, this clam, all right, he is quarter size. What happened to my, what happened to my quarter? Oh, well. Uh, this is about how big they are after they have been under the nets for a year. And when they emerge in the spring, they're about this big. Under the nets, we didn't so, talk about nets. What, what's well, that all about? Well, what happens is, uh, as they grow them in nurseries, they get to a certain point in the fall where you have to take them out of the nursery and put them in the bay and cover them with nets to protect them from predators. Well, sure, because the water would freeze if we kept them in the upwellers year round. Yeah, and uh, clams do not take a freeze well. Oh, yeah, and probably so, nothing for them to eat if there's no algae in the water. No, that's winter. true. All these down. What's interesting about this clam is about an inch, and it's old enough to breed, but not enough to go to the market, to the seafood market. Oh, so it can have actually to be an grow inch and other half. clams. Wow. They have to be an inch and a half to. Uh, basically to buy them and for us to eat them. Yep. So to summarize, we said that the mantle is part of the clam that contributes to the growth. And the periosticum is what leaves the growth ring on razor clams and hard clams and many other kinds of clams. So now you know how to, we tell the age of a clam by counting the heavier growth rings. This is not so easy because there are lots of rings on a clam it's just the heavier ones that we can actually count. Finally, we talked about how much growth we would see before clams are put on the predator control screens during the bay's grow out phase. And that's the important part where we're spending a lot of time with the clams actually living in the bay. Well, let's mm -hmm. head for the store and grab some and eat them. <laughs> I have some for our next video. All right, super, good.